Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of that. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Victory. Catherine, it's Monday morning, it Monday. and this is the day that the Lord hath That's made. Right. And Amen. you got some testimonies right there that I, I want to start right off the bat. Let's go. What do you have? I have Amina from Nampa, and she has a praise report. She said that a man we prayed for a couple days, days ago was moved off of life support. So we are rejoicing for that. We've, we have lots of praise reports. We have another one here. Um, this is from last week. Uh, yeah, uh, Eric was pronounced dead and received a call back that he was revived. So we've been seeing resurrection life, resurrection power, Amen. moving through prayer on this program. And it's been amazing. And you know, that's one of the great things, you know, this morning, I wanted to start out with praise reports because maybe you're at home right now or you're at work or in your car or watching on your computer or on your smartphone. And you're saying, Kurt, I don't, I don't have nothing to praise about. We're, we're giving you something to praise yeah. about this morning. <laughs> Here, uh, Stephanie called in from Maryland. Her husband, Melvin, was on life support. Now he is able to breathe on his own. The doctor thought it was COVID-19, but the test came back ne negative for the virus. Thank and so God. we want you this morning, Monday morning, maybe you, you didn't get up on the right side of the bed, <laughs> but this morning you're connecting with our faith today and our prayer ministers. And so we want you to call 877-281. 6297 this morning. Connect with us. And we want you today that are joining us to bring your supply. Yeah. Those of you that are there at home or at work or listening on your smartphone, bring your supply this morning. Also with us this morning is Pastor John. Pastor John, what do you have for us this morning? Praise God. You know, what better way to start the day on Monday than with those praise reports? I mean, a man came off of life support. Somebody who was pronounced dead was no longer dead. That is awesome. Listen, I'm over here with our prayer ministers and they're ready to take your your call. They're ready to come into agreement with you. They're ready to pray the prayer of faith with you. Make sure you call us 877-281-6297. Well, thank you so much, Pastor John. Just a quick scripture for you this morning, just to again, stand on his word. In Colossians 3, 17, it says, and whatever you do or say, again, our words matter. So it's Monday morning. And so get up and say the right things. Do as it a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. So this morning, as you get up, whether you're in New York or whether you're in Australia or if you're in India, wherever you're at watching around the world, because we're live right now on the KCM Facebook pages, and we want you to join in. We have people, prayer ministers standing by on Facebook as well to join their faith with yours and to believe God for your miracle and your healing this morning. Catherine, right. what do we have for our, yeah, our partners this morning? I want to tell you guys about this week's free digital download. It's called Delivered from Here by Kenneth Copeland. Uh, you can download it at govictory.com slash morning prayer. And this is a resource to you to help you overcome fear. You know, we live in a time where it can be easy to succumb to that. And the enemy is going to try to come against us and tempt us to be afraid. But we know that fear is under the curse and we've been redeemed from that. So we want to encourage you, help you build your faith concerning how you can overcome fear in your everyday life. Thank you so much, Catherine. You know, uh, Pastor George and Sister Gloria did a uh, program just a little while ago, and uh, it talks about God's will is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God's will is for healing. God's will is for prosperity. This is all part of the inheritance. And so watch this quick video by Pastor George and Sister Gloria this morning to build your faith. This is the will of God that contains our inheritance. That's right. You know, that's not a bad thing to remember <clears throat> when the devil starts giving you the, all the lies he comes up with. Yes, yes. It's, it's not God's will for me to lack. It's not God's will for me not to be able to pay this bill. That's right. It's God's will <clears throat> for me to pay this bill on time, every month. Yep, every or whatever month. Whatever it is, or use the same <clears throat> thing for healing. It's God's will, it's George. God's will. It's in the will. And again, this morning, we want you to call in 877-281-6297. And we have prayer ministers that are standing by to take your phone call to agree with you this morning, whatever you may be going through. And you may say, Kurt, well, I, you know, I don't know if I should call. You should call uh, because we have these licensed prayer ministers that are standing by. Uh, not only are they going to pray with you, we're going to pray for yes. you, you as well here. But then we take them down to our intercessor prayer team that prays over every single request that comes in. We take prayer very seriously here at the ministry. And so we want to connect with you today. 877-281-6297. 
6297 or if you're watching live right now on Facebook, we have prayer ministers there to connect with you as well. Catherine, yeah. you have some praise reports I and do, prayer requests. I do, and I love what you were saying, Kurt, about how prayer matters and how prayer is powerful and how prayer changes things. And on my way in this morning, I was actually just reflecting on the story of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16. Awesome. You know, and they were locked up, they were in prison, but they chose to praise God. And it says that there was an earthquake from heaven that came and it released their shackles, but it also released the shackles of everyone in the prison. And I was thinking about that, about how your supply in prayer could be the key to somebody else's deliverance. And you know, Catherine, you know, free people, free people. That's right. And so people that are watching right now that might be in bondage and might be, man, Kurt, I've got so much depression, oppression, yeah. all the things. Well, why wouldn't you want to connect with people that are yeah. free, that are set free, delivered, filled with the Holy Ghost, man, yeah. that can connect with you this morning and start your day off on the right track. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. So we're here to join our supply with yours. The people at home are joining their supply with you and these prayer ministers are joining their supply with you. Amen. So call in 877-281-6297. I'm going to get started on some of these prayer requests. I have Mary from Sparta um, believing for uh, healing from arthritis in her hands and knees. So Mary, we say that you are healed and whole in the name of Jesus. Arthritis has no place in your body. I have Joan Dell from Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, um, believing for deliverance from seizures. So we say that those seizures stop right now. We say no weapon formed against you shall prosper and your body, you're walking in the blessing of God concerning your healing. I have Sharon from Litchfield, Ohio, uh, believing for her grandson to be free from depression. So we say that the joy of his, the Lord is his strength. The word says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. And so we thank you, Lord, that you are healing him, that you are restoring him, uh, mind, body, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I have Joanne from South, South Dartmouth, um, her balance to be restored, complete healing and peace, and hope restored and strengthened. So we are believing not only for your physical healing, Joanne, but we're believing for the healing and restoration of your soul in Jesus' mighty name. And I have one more here from uh, Jean and Kissimmee, uh, believing for healing for a rash on her leg. So Jean, we are believing for that healing to manifest itself right now in the name of Jesus. Pastor John, I can hear the phones are starting to ring. I know you're over there in the aisle. Tell us what it's like over there. Catherine, you know, I'm starting to hear the phone light up. You know, whenever we uh, start the program, whenever we go live on the program, the phones always start ringing. So I want to thank you for calling us. I want to thank you for bringing your supply. Thank you for being a part of morning prayer every morning. These prayer requests, listen, when we get these testimonies come in, they're just as much your testimony as they are ours as the person who experienced them because we all came together in a corporate anointing to believe these things to come to pass. Marilyn in Harvard, Illinois is praying for wisdom to speak with doctors and healing. Marilyn, right now in Jesus' name, I declare you have wisdom. Father, I thank you for that wisdom for Marilyn to know what to say, to know exactly what questions to ask. Father, you said in your word that if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask and that you would give it to us and that you wouldn't hold any back. So Lord, I thank you for that wisdom for Marilyn. Christy in Florida is praying for her body health. I, I believe that you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Linda is, is uh, praying for her brother-in-law for employment. Father, I thank you that you opened the right doors of employment for Linda's brother-in-law. God, I thank you that you are moving him to the right assignment. God, not just a job, but a career. And Father, not just immediate finances, but provision that will last in Jesus' name. Catherine in Kansas City, Missouri is praying for finances and she says she hasn't received her stimulus check. Father, I thank you that funds are being released for Catherine right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that it's not just the check, but Father, that you said in your word that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So Father, I thank you that all of her needs are met and supplied in Jesus name. Kurt, back to you. Thank you so much, Pastor John. You know, I'm looking out here on Facebook, 374 people have joined us and I'm reading Wanda's request here. <laughs> Catherine, it says, God is good Amen. all the time. Amen. And she's got exclamation point, exclamation <laughs> point, exclamation point. And so also we have Esther from Pakistan watching, Okuna wow. from Ghana. All these Thank countries God. are joining us right now. Normally we're on the uh, Victory Channel Facebook page. This morning we decided to go on the KCM Facebook page so people from all over the yeah, world can join us. And so we thank you for joining us on Facebook this morning. We see all the prayer requests coming through. And not only do we have prayer ministers behind us, but also on our Facebook page, connecting with you this morning, bringing their supply and connecting with you. Barbara this morning from Louisiana, a retirement job. Uh, she's got lots, lots of pain in her body and she just needs to retire. And so Barbara, we speak healing to you 
you this morning. Linda uh, is praying for her sister. Whatever uh, your sister needs right now, our God is a God of healing. Our God is a miracle working God and he is still in the miracle working business. And so Linda, we connect with you this morning. Andrew from Fayetteville, believing for debt freedom. And Lord, we thank you for Andrew. Lord, we pray blessings over him. And Lord, everything that his hands touch today will prosper. And Lord, we pray for that right job for him in Jesus name. In Catherine. Jesus name. I have Miss Honor from Newark um, and she her, said her phone was stolen and wants it back and she wants to receive patience until it is returned. Well, Miss Honor, we say that you already have all the patience that you need because you have the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of you and we call that phone back to you in Jesus name. I have Nathaniel from Columbus believing for finances and favor for benefits. So Nathaniel, we are agreeing with you that those benefits are coming in quickly. <laughs> you know, the Lord is Jehovah Jireh. He is God, your provider. It's not just something that he does for you. It's who he is. And so he is bringing that provision to you quickly in Jesus name. I have Patricia Kay from Frankfurt, Illinois. Uh, her family members uh, healed of depression and bipolar disorder. You know, uh, Psalm 103 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits who heals all your diseases. So we say all those diseases, bipolar disorder, depression, all of those things are under the blood of Jesus and he is healing your family members right now in Jesus name. I have Ma Mamanetu believing for wisdom and direction for his next job assignment. You have the wisdom of God. Um, and then Patty from early Texas believing for healing. She had an emergency appendectomy. You know, part of my testimony, Patty, is in 2001, I had my appendix ruptured and I almost died. The enemy came for my life, but the Lord radically saved me. He healed my body and I was completely healed of all the, uh, you know, all the repercussions of that appendicitis. So I want to say that you are healed and whole from that emergency appendectomy. God did it for me. He'll do it for you. He's no respecter of persons. So receive your healing now, right now in the name of Jesus. It's so powerful, Catherine, you know, and it brings to a testimony that I had. Yeah. I have a herniated L4, L5 and I was supposed to go in for surgery. Um, this was many years ago. Uh -huh. I didn't do it because I believe God would heal me. Amen. And I went to a healing service and the power of God healed me instantly. Wow, you know, God. and so those of you that are watching right now and you say, well, you know, I don't know if I should connect. I don't know if I should call and, you know, don't, you know, doubt, doubt is gonna keep you right. where you're at. Doubt is gonna keep you stuck. Yeah. And so we wanna encourage you this morning to l simply pick up the phone. It's a toll-free call, 877-281-6297. And connect with us this morning. That, it's just an act of faith. Just pick up the phone and connect with us. Also on Facebook, 427 people are joining Thank us. Uh, Alice here, uh, she's just thanking for this broadcast that we're live, that she can connect That's her amazing. supply with us this morning. And so we thank you so much uh, for connecting with us all over the world this morning. Donnie from Detroit, believe in God for healing in his body. Cheryl from California, uh, asking for prayer for, uh, her, for protection, uh, for favor and for debt freedom. Cheryl from Bowie, uh, praying for peace and protection uh, for Latrice. Diane from Washington, uh, healed of symptoms of pneumonia. Praise and God. she called in, she's like, I just got to give a testimony <laughs> uh, that she, she was totally healed of symptoms, thought it was COVID-19, but she is totally healed and completely free. And so, Pastor John, what do you have over there on the other side of the phone center? Praise God. You know, I was just thinking about what you were saying and you read a prayer request from Donnie in Detroit. I have a praise report from another Donnie in Detroit. He says this, after praying with us, uh, she called and her family uh, are now financially blessed. So apparently she had a financial need. She called and now her family has received that financial blessing. I want you to understand something. That phone call is a point of contact. That phone call has been a point of contact for so many people and we see and hear so many any testimonies from what God is doing from after people call, we add our faith with theirs and God manifests a mighty breakthrough because of the prayer of faith. And so I want to encourage you to give us a call 877-281-6297. Not to mention, make sure you download the Go Victory app so that you can take us with you wherever you go and you can call that number anytime, even when we're not on the air. Charles in New Mexico says she's praying for her granddaughter who is sick and been sick since February. February. Father, I thank you for a quick healing in her granddaughter's body. Father, I thank you for wholeness to manifest in Jesus' name. Barb in La, Cro in La Cruz says that her husband needs a manifestation of healing. Father, in Jesus' name again, Lord, I thank you that that healing has already been paid for and we take it this morning with her by faith. Pam in Wesley Chapel is praying for deliverance from addictions for TJ. Father, I thank you that there is quick deliverance coming for TJ. Lord, I thank you that Jesus 
Jesus was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. So right now we say that the works of the devil are, are destroyed over TJ's life. And Ruby in Chesapeake, Virginia is praying for healing for her daughter. Father, I thank you that her daughter is healed from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet in Jesus name. Amen. Catherine, back to you. Praise God. Praise God. You know, I love this program because we see healing manifest every single day. And Kurt, something you said earlier just a minute ago is, you know, you might be at home and you might be tolerating doubt. You might be saying, you know, I don't know if God will really do it for me. I've struggled with this for, for too long. I don't know if calling in will make a difference, but I want you to know it will. Something Brother Copeland says all the time is that fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Mm -hmm. And we don't want your faith to be contaminated. We want you to stand on the word of God and his promises. So I want to remind you, we have a free digital download this week. It's called Delivered from Fear by Kenneth Copeland. And it's going to be a resource to you. To It gives you some good scripture, some good teaching on how to stand in faith concerning whatever circumstances you you might be facing and know and believe God that fear is under your feet. That's so powerful. And you know, we have a, a clip from Pastor Terry uh, here that I want to wa have you watch. When people who know how to use their faith come together, it brings times of prayer up to another level. Yeah. That's what we're doing here today, not just with our prayer ministers, not with all those that are joining us on Facebook, uh, our intercessor team, but all of us coming together. We're two or more gathered. There's more than two of us here this morning coming together to pray for you. And so watch this clip by Pastor Terry this morning. But there's a difference then in the spirit when people who know how to use their faith come together, it brings it up to a level that there's a, a degree of maturity and accomplishment in it that people that are just, as we said last night, shooting that shotgun shot have not really sure, just say something. And if we just tag on that rabbit's foot at the end in the name of Jesus, well, maybe something will happen. But when we go to the Word of God and we get clarity from Him and we pray based on the Word of God using our faith with an expectation that the things that we ask for, that we will have them. And I'm telling you, we will have everything that we ask for, have asked for, and we're believing for. We will have it and we'll have it sooner than later. Glory to God. Did you hear that? She said, we will have what we ask for when we believe what we're asking for. We will have it and we'll have it sooner than later. That's exactly what happened for us, for Sandy in Elktown, in Elkton. I think I said that right. Elkton says she's praying for her husband to get a new job. But last Monday she called in, she had gut issues. We prayed for her and they left and they've been gone for over a week. So praise God for that, Sandy. And I'm telling you who are watching, maybe you are thinking about calling. Don't think about it. Do it. Your breakthrough could be on the other end of that phone call 877-281-6297. Give us a call. Let us come into agreement with you for what you're believing for in the word of God. Patricia in Atlanta, Georgia is praying for healing and for her sister to be delivered from alcohol. Father, I thank you that Patricia's sister is delivered and Patricia's body is healed this morning in Jesus name. Now, Patricia, you take it by faith and you walk in your new healing. Richard in Amsville is praying for Denny and Diane to be healed from the virus. Father, you're choking that virus out of their body right now in Jesus name. And I give you glory and praise for it. According to scripture, Lord, that no virus, no plague, no calamity will come upon those who walk in the blessing father and that they are indeed blessed in Jesus name. And Lord, we give you praise for it. Father, I thank you for Lee and who's praying for severe ear issues and vertigo. God, you're bringing balance to Lee right now in Jesus name and for Brenda. Father, for, who's in Albany, Ohio, who's praying for her daughter's health. Father, I thank you that she is healthy. Lord, that her daughter is healthy. We call her daughter, her daughter healthy, whole, and into her purpose in the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Kurt, back to you. Thank you, Pastor John. And again, we want to encourage you to go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer this morning and get your free digital download delivered from fear. And out of here, all these are for you. And you say, well, Kurt, why do you guys offer this stuff for free? Why don't you charge? We want to get materials yeah. into your hand to build your faith. Uh, here, Catherine, we have living a fearless life. Be filled with faith, not fear. The secret place of God's protection. Perfect love casts out all fear and so Praise much God. more. And these are 
for you, Amazing. our partners and friends, simply by going to govictory.com yeah. forward slash morning prayer and to just download that, get it on your phone, get it yeah. on your computer, get it in your home. You know, I said last time I was on, worship creates an atmosphere and so does right. teachings like this to build your faith. Right. Catherine, you have yeah. some testimonies in that yeah, this you know, morning. The book of Hosea, it says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. <laughs> so let's not be a group of believers that perish because we don't know what God's word provides right. for us. So get that digital download. It's awesome. Um, right here I have Helen from Friendswood believing for Kobe's brain cancer to be removed. I just want to stop right now and I want to lift up Kobe. Father, I thank you, God, that brain cancer is not um, of you. Father, we know that you, every good and perfect gift comes from you. And so, Father, right now we lift up Kobe to you. We lift up his doctors. We lift up his family. Father, I thank you that that brain cancer is being healed right now, Father, and that he will have an amazing and a mighty testimony of your delivering healing power in Jesus' name. I have Amelia from Covington um, believing for her daughter in finances, uh, salvation, peace, and wholeness. So we uh, confess salvation, peace, and wholeness over your daughter, Amelia, in Jesus' name. I have Stephanie from Georgia. She needs patience and she needs financial blessing. Well, you know, the Word of God says that He meets all of your needs. So your need for patience, your need for financial blessing, according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So you have everything that you need. Your needs are met according to His riches and glory. And we know that the Lord does not lack any good thing or withhold any good thing from you. I have Catherine from Manassas Park believing for deliverance of bad dreams. You know, the word of God says that he gives his beloved sweet sleep. So we speak sweet sleep over you, Catherine. Uh, no more bad dreams, but you will have the best sleep of your life this week um, as you continue to stand in faith. I have Mary from Douglasville believing for healing. Mary, we say that you are healed and whole from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And lastly, I have Anne from Denton believing for healing from a spider bite over her right eye and for her <laughs> nephew's healing from cancer and healing for a friend from COVID-19. Well, well, we say spider bites, cancer, COVID-19, all of those things are names that can be named. And we know that Jesus is the name above every name. All of those things are under the blood of Jesus. And so you, your nephew and your friend are all walking in complete and total healing in Jesus name. Kurt, I see you have some prayer requests right <laughs> I there do. as well. I uh, do. Lawrence from Missouri calling in. Uh, just believe in God for healing uh, from a stroke he had 27 years wow. ago. Uh, Johnny from Florida uh, praying for healing for has glaucoma. Your eyes, you shall see Johnny, That's right. in Jesus name. And so we speak healing over you this morning. Linda from South Carolina uh, needs a buyer for her property right now in Jesus name, the right buyer coming. And you are going to get uh, Linda more than what you asked for because you are blessed and you are highly favored. That's and so right. this week, I speak this week, your house shall be sold and you're going to get more than you asked for in Jesus name. Also, Paula from Spring, Texas uh, calling in just needs healing for her body. Mm -hmm. And so we just stand with you, Paula, this morning. We thank you for staying taking that step of faith and calling us and connecting with us. And we're going to take these to our intercessor prayer team. And we're going to pray over these today and believe God for your healing. Again, uh, over 30 people in the queue right now can't get through, but keep calling in. Our number is 877-281-6297. Again, 877-281-6297. 281-6297. Maybe you need to put it in your phone on speed yeah. dial uh, because whenever you are going through a situation in your life, I want you to know as a staff member, we're here to pray That's for right. you from morning to night. And so I want to encourage you to connect with us today. 877-281-6297. Pastor John. You know, Kurt, one of my favorite worship songs says the presence of the Lord is here and I can sense him in the atmosphere. That's exactly what's going on over here with our prayer ministers. I can hear them praying. They're praying the word of God. They're calling out scriptures and I can sense God in the atmosphere. That's what you're plugging into when you make that phone call. Maybe you're not able to sense the presence of God as much wherever you are. But when you make that phone call, you're plugging right into a place where the atmosphere is saturated with the presence of God. Diana in Defiance, Ohio is praying for favor. Um, oh, well, first of all, she's praying for her husband's health, but she's also praying for favor with her heating and air conditioning units. You may say, well, can I pray for that? The word of God says that God has given you all things pertaining to life and godliness. So yes, you can pray for that. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that those air conditioning units are working at their perfect peak performance. And God, if they need to be replaced, 
place all the finances, all the provision and all the materials necessary to do the job are being manifest for Diana in Jesus name. And Lord, I thank you. You're raising her husband up and you're healing his body in the name of Jesus. Mar uh, Marla in Buckeye, Arizona is praying for our job and finances. Father, I thank you that all finances are coming to her in abundance and Father, that the right door opens and she has her perfect assignment. Ruth in Parsons, West Virginia is praying because she has headaches and tendonitis. Father, I thank you that that tendonitis and those headaches are leaving her body. We cast them out now by faith in Jesus name. Christopher in Jackson's Gap is praying for the greater glory and grace and for his uh, computer to be back. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that not only is the greater glory coming and that he has all grace necessary, but Father, his computer functions just the way it's supposed to function because it belongs to him and he's in the kingdom in Jesus name. And Stella is praying. She's believing for financial increase to be able to help her church and that the church doors will open again. First and foremost, Stella, I'm telling you, we're going back to church soon. But Father, I thank you that Stella has everything that she needs, all the finances necessary. She lives in the overflow and she's able to contribute to her church and build it up in Jesus name. Catherine, back to you. Praise God. Praise God. Again, we want to remind you, keep calling in. Even if you can't get through, keep calling. We want to get you connected to one of our licensed prayer ministers who know how to stand on God's word concerning whatever you're believing for. That number is 877-281-6297. And you know, Pastor John, as you were talking, I was just reminded that every promise in God's word, the Bible says is yes and amen through Christ Jesus. So I have Lorraine from Decatur believing for her granddaughter's healing from depression. We say yes and amen to her healing. I have Hope from Tulsa, Oklahoma, believing for, for healing for her shoulder. So Hope, we say yes and amen to your healing in your shoulder. Carol from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, believing for healing. Yes and amen to your healing, Carol. Gail from Monroe, North Carolina, believing for restoration from stroke, healing from continued cancer treatments and freedom from pain. Yes and amen. All the promises of God are laid up in his word for you, Gail. So thank you for calling. We are rejoicing with you that you are gonna have freedom from pain, that that cancer is gonna be obliterated and you are gonna walk in the complete and total healing and restoration of God in Jesus' name. I have Bar Burbeth from Harford, believing for a brain aneurysm. Lord, I thank you, God, that she is healed from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Father, that you are restoring her brain to the uh, its right working order, Lord. We know you are the great physician. And so, Father, we thank you that every cell, every molecule, every single thing in her brain is being restored in Jesus' name. And one more, Kurt, Lisa from New Kensington, believing for finances. He meets all your needs according to his rich is in glory. So you have all the finances you need right now in Jesus name. You know, Catherine, going through these prayer requests that have come in, praise reports, we get yeah, to do this. I know. We get it's to come amazing. in agreement with our partners and friends around the world yeah. and pray and, and believe God for healing mm -hmm. for these people. And so I want to encourage you today, if you have not downloaded the Go Victory app, we want to encourage you to do so. Uh, it's totally free. There's no charge. Also, we want to encourage you to go and download Brother Copeland's uh, teaching as well. Uh, it's again, totally free. And so these are resources to build your faith, to stir your faith and to build you up today. Also, we're going to be going live on keep going live on Facebook. Uh, we're going to go off the, the network here in just the next few moments, but we're going to be going live, uh, continue going live on Facebook. And so we want to encourage you if you haven't jumped on yet, uh, we'll be going off the network onto Facebook and we have a special guest uh, with us today. Also, you want to join us uh, this afternoon for Victory Update, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. We have a special guest you don't want to miss this afternoon show. It's going to be coming live from Greece. And so uh, join us on the Victory Update, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. It's going to be a great, great show today. Also, Susan calling in, uh, Catherine from Akron. Uh, just believe in God for nice weather this weekend for her daughter's wedding Amen. and just a peace in this new season. Yeah. Uh, Kendra, believe in God uh, for her father that has no more pain, no more cancer. Melissa, uh, asking God's favor for her uh, mother. Mother Joanne. Also, Joy from Stanton uh, has high blood pressure and vertigo and just believe in God for healing for her son as well. Catherine from Greensboro uh, has a friend that has a stroke. And so we want to encourage you today. Uh, continue calling in 877-281-6297. And if you can't get through, keep calling in. We're going to continue on Facebook Live. So jump on over there and uh, we're going to continue to pray for your prayer requests. And remember, we love you. God loves you and 
Jesus is Lord. Continue to call in 877-281-6297. And again, we're gonna be on Facebook yeah. for the next half hour. Uh, over 280 people are already on here and we're gonna continue praying for your needs, your requests. And so keep joining us on Facebook Live on the KCM page. We are live on the KCM Facebook page this morning. This is something new that we wanted to do to connect with all of our partners and friends that are joining us live this morning on Facebook. And so as you are joining us, you're welcome to put in your prayer request right here in the chat. We see all these people that are uh, uh, typing in. Uh, Rashish uh, typed in, I love the anointing, just release it. Well, we, uh, you know, it looks like Pastor John said a few moments ago, the spirit of the Lord is here and in this place. And we want to encourage you. Uh, we have prayer ministers standing by right here on our chat to connect with you this morning. This is something that we wanted to do. Uh, literally thousands, well, 1.7 million people follow us on Facebook. And so we wanted to connect with you this morning and pray with you. It's Monday morning and whatever you may be going through. Maybe you're in Australia, you're in the United States, maybe you're in Canada, maybe you're in India, maybe you're in Africa. Uh, we want to connect with you just simply via the screen, via our computer, and connect with you this morning and to pray with you. And so whatever your need may be, uh, connect with us this morning. Also, it doesn't matter where you're at around the world, we want to encourage you to download Brother Copeland's uh, teaching, Delivered from fear. There is no fear. Say it today. Put it in the chat. There's no fear here. You know, your words matter. and Everything that comes out of your mouth is a, a, a destination where you're going. And so you want to speak life uh, this morning and every day. But this great teaching from Brother Copeland, Delivered from Fear, it's downloadable. GoVictory.com forward slash morning prayer. And so it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. Just jump on that page, GoVictory.com forward slash morning prayer and get this free teaching. And like I mentioned earlier, we have some great, great CDs in here. Uh, living a fearless life, refusing to fear, protect love, uh, perfect love casts out all fear. Also, we have be filled with faith, not fear, and so much more. And so you want to make sure you go get that today. Uh, right here in the chat, all these people are uh, Melissa, uh, Lillian, uh, Sonia, Melissa, you're all put in here, no fear here. And so whatever you are going through this morning, there's no fear. If you have cancer, no fear. If you have leukemia, no fear. Whatever, maybe you're going through a, a divorce right now, there's no fear here. And so put it in the chat this morning and 267 of you are joining us from all over the world, from Pakistan, from Ghana, from Africa, uh, from Australia. I see y'all here in the chat. Uh, Ruthie says, uh, there's no fear here, only victory. Cancer can be gone in the name of Jesus. And that is so, so true. And we appreciate you all for putting this in here. Also, Christina here, digestive uh, issues. We pray for you, Christina, this morning that you are healed in Jesus name. And also we have here, uh, Melissa, put in here, no fear. And so we love this because you're speaking it out this morning and we love connecting with you this way. You know, we not, might not be able to be all together in a room, but we're able to connect with you here on Facebook this morning. And uh, Pastor Gene, good hey, morning. Man. Welcome. Welcome to you. <laughs> you have hey, a good word to be for, here. for the people yeah, that are joining you know, us this morning. I, I just wanted to, first off, thank you guys for letting me kind of crash your uh, morning prayer program. But listen, I wanted to share a word with you, and it's very tricky. It's very deep, but I want you to listen to it, okay? All right. This is 2 Thessalonians 5, 16. If I can find it, lost my uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. 4, 5... Rejoice evermore. All right, here's verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Yeah. Does that say sometimes? No, it says pray without, no matter what version you looked that up in, it still is going to come back to pray without ceasing. And in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Then it goes into not quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hold fast. So listen, I know you're watching on Facebook. I know that some of you are down, uh, you know, you can't get back to work yet because of 
sheltering in place or maybe your job's gone. But listen, this is where we're at. We're going to, we're standing. The whole purpose for this morning prayer program was to give people a, a place to connect. That's right. We want to be able to connect to you, our partners, our viewers, all of us on social media. That's why we wanted to extend because we're, we're seeing so many people are coming in. So many people are wanting prayer that we're, we're going off about the time most of the people get here. So we yeah. wanted to just kind of stay with you right here on Facebook and see what's going on. So what's going on? In fact, I think we left Pastor John here. Is Pastor Didn't John we? still over there? <laughs> I am still here. Praise okay, God. Good. I'm still here. <laughs> you know, that scripture is so awesome. It says pray without ceasing. And I love the fact that we just didn't cease. We, we kept going and moved right on over to Facebook. And, I, and our prayer ministers are still going. The phones are still ringing. People are still calling in and they are still praying. So just because we go off there and even when we go off the program, even when we go off Facebook, our prayer ministers will still be here here and they will still be praying with you. And we've still got prayer requests. Linda in San Marcos, California says she needs a home and finances to move. Linda, I believe you receive everything that you need to be able to move. Glenda in El Cajon, California says she's praying for peace and for good sleep, new lungs and to receive revelation. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you for those new lungs for her. And I thank you that you give your beloved sweet sleep in Jesus name. Uh, we've got Ch uh, Chanenzo in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana is praying for finances and for student, I love the faith in this statement, for student loans to be obliterated. Father, we come into agreement that those student loans are obliterated in Jesus' name. George in Dalton is praying for finances, finances in healing and Catherine in Greenberg is praying for her son, has surgery today on his finger and is praying for complete restoration. Surgery today. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that that surgery Father, that surgery is going to be exactly what you need it to be to restore his finger. Father, I pray for those doctors. I pray for every person involved in Jesus name. Amen. Back to you, Pastor Gene. Amen. 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 You know, Kurt, I love seeing the people connecting with us and praying over. But listen, I want to read some of the things that are coming. Uh, Esther and Littleton call for healing for her brother. Good report. The blood flow is better. Hallelujah. Uh, Berta and an Anna somewhere in Texas, uh, healing from Parkinson's. We agree with that. Uh, Susan and Rancho Cucamonga, wisdom for the right car. Uh, Kim needs health. Uh, Valerie needs help for her healing for her mother. She's in the ICU. That's in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Listen, we are agreeing with you right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. For these healings right now, whether it's for blood flow or healing or even something as practical as a car, we just pray and we receive your excellent word, your word of provision. We thank you, Father, for it in Jesus' name. Amen. What you got, Kurt? Pastor Gene, we have Christina uh, typed in here. She's asking for prayer for Keith in Florida. And we just come in agreement with you, Christina, uh, for Keith right now for that healing. Also, we have uh, Arthur calling in or typing in here, uh, just praying uh, for healing for uh, the pandemic that's going on and coronavirus. Uh, also, we have uh, Arthur here from uh, Mandando City, Indonesia, uh, joining us. Arthur, we thank you for joining us on Facebook this morning and joining uh, with your supply and coming in agreement with us today as we pray for all these prayer requests. And if you're here in the United States, you can call in 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, uh, keep calling in. And like I said earlier, uh, put that number in your phone, 877-281-6297. And whenever you need something, we're going to be there to stand with you and come in agreement with you. Uh, Bertie from Appalachia, Florida, uh, healing and deliverance for all body aches and pain. Uh, Kimberly uh, from Jeffersonville, but just believe in uh, for her daughter to be saved and to be delivered and set free. Cynthia from Davison. Uh, when she went to the eye doctor, there was nothing wow. wrong with her eye there it is. in Jesus Praise name. Uh, Patricia from Georgia, salvation for her cousins. Uh, Patricia, whoever your cousins are, you know the exact name. He knows your cousin's name and we are going to believe we're going to come in agreement with you today that your cousins shall be saved That's in Jesus right. name. We look forward to uh, hearing your praise report from that. Lori from Oak Park, uh, sister-in-law has stomach cancer in Jesus name. Uh, Lori, we come in agreement with you right now. I know you called in to our prayer center and our phone ministers prayed with you. 
Uh, but we're going to pray with you now. And right now, uh, Jean and I have just come in an agreement. Yeah, we right. pray for Jesus Lori. Name. Lord, we pray for her sister-in-law and this cancer go in Jesus yes, name. Jesus. Lord, you see right where she is at right now. Right. And we That's speak right. healing and Lord, we speak peace over that home over this situation right now. And by yes, your Lord. stripes, Jesus. Lori's sister-in-law is healed in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Pastor John. There are going to be a lot of people with healing testimonies because we see a lot of healing prayer requests this morning. And I believe that every last one of these prayer requests is a testimony in the making. We have Annette in Rome, New York, praying for healing for Cheryl for colon cancer and healing for Deb for an inner ear problem. We have Cindy in Amarillo, Texas, who be who's believing for healing to manifest and for the pain to stop. We have Pamela in Pittsburgh, Texas, is praying for healing. And we also have Kathleen in Weatherford, Michigan, Waterford, Michigan, who's praying for healing from sun poisoning and restoration of dental health. So Father, right now in Jesus' name, I lay my hands on these prayer requests as a point of contact, as though I was, were laying my hands on these people, according to your word, that uh, if any of the uh, any are sick among you, that them call for the elders of the church, pray the prayer of faith, anoint him with oil. God will save the sick. And if they've done anything wrong, they will be forgiven. So Father, we stand on those promises. We take them them as promises for us by faith in Jesus name. And we call these people healed in the name of Jesus. Pastor Gene, I'm so excited yeah, because I, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the testimony. I know. I, and listen, all right. I got John. You just got your Bible over there. Uh, I, you know what? I don't have my Bible over all right, here. Somebody get John his Bible. Somebody so get gets me over my there. Bible. Yeah. All right. So listen to what we're going to do. I'm going to call an audible here. Okay. Uh, we're going to pray for financial miracles at the end of this, our time together. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to collect them all. You listening, John, over there? Yes, I'm You're listening. You're with me. All I'm right. I'm here. So we're going to collect them all. And on Friday, we're going to have a special time of prayer over financial. Well, you God. need a job. Praise you need, God. You got bills you got paid. You got a, you know, yes. something like your car needs to be. Yeah, hey, those are all financial yeah. needs. So we're going to have a special financial time of prayer Friday morning. But today, John's going to minister to you in just a minute. We're going to change things up here wow. for this, since we're on Facebook. We're going to talk about your finances, okay? So this ministry, one of the greatest things that we've learned from working yeah. here and being around Brother Copeland is just how to... God wants you to prosper. He doesn't, he doesn't say he doesn't want you to prosper in health and relationships and everything. That's all prosperity, right, John? Yes, it's all part right. of it. So we're going to, we're going to agree with you for your financial prosperity in just a few minutes. All right. So, but let's, we're going to keep praying and we're going to keep talking to you. Please call the number. It's right there on your screen. 817-281-6297. All right. Here's a praise report. Atheline from Susan City last Thursday called for his wife to having a baby being born a month early. Baby's healthy and whole in Jesus' name. Uh, Maxine in Kansas, healing of a mouth cancer for a friend. Stomach cancer. Cancer is a name. Amen. And that name, that has to bow. Everything bows to the name of Jesus. Ne neuropathy, total healing, I agree in Jesus' name. Yvonne in uh, Maryland, pray, healing for a friend, whatever that is, we agree with you in Jesus name. Glaucoma, now let me talk to you about your eyes. Let me, so let me just help you just a little bit about your eyes. Your eyes belong to the Father. Amen. Do you know that? Your eyes, every part of your body does, but we're gonna talk about the eyes for a minute. So I want you right now, reach up, lay your hands on your eyes. If you've got an eye issue, not just glaucoma, lay your hands on your eyes right now. We're gonna agree with you right now. John's gonna pray with me as we're gonna to pray together. So John, jump in here when you want to, but Heavenly Father, Father I thank you, I thank you, for, healing, thank you yes. for healing, for eyes, yes. whether it's yes. glaucoma or cataracts yes. that need yes, to be Lord. removed or yes. a strengthening of the eyes. I see a strengthening yes. of an yes. eye. They say you have a weak yes. eye, I'm telling you that yes. weak eye, you're going to start to see it become That's stronger. Right. It's your left eye. That's absolutely Your right. left eye has got it. It's kind of, they call it a wandering eye. And it's because the muscles are weak. Those muscles are coming back yeah. to a, into alignment mm -hmm. in Jesus name. Now, if you, it's not too late. That's if you're right. on the phone, call the number and get in on this prayer. John, absolutely right. keep it going here. I, macular de de degeneration. The doctors mm -hmm. have said you have macular degeneration and you're losing your sight right now. 
I say that your sight is being miraculously restored. And I hear that. Thank you, Lord. I hear that in my spirit, that God is reversing the curse. He's reversing the curse. So your eyes are not getting worse. They're getting better in Jesus name. Cataracts are dissolving right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. Cataracts are dissolving. Um, uh, 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 eye nerves, the nerves in the eyes are receiving strength right now. Eye muscles are receiving strength right now in Jesus name. You know, you take that by faith. When we call these things out, if that's you, don't just go, hey, that's me. Take it by faith and believe that you receive in that moment. Not only that, but we want to hear the testimony. We want to hear the, I bet you told somebody about your symptoms. Now tell somebody about your healing. Tell somebody about what God is doing for you. Pastor Gene, I'm ready to talk yeah. about finances whenever right, you're ready. Right. We're gonna, let's see, where are we at here in our time? Oh, we got a few minutes. You got like five or six more minutes and then we're gonna talk about your financial Amen. healing, get your prayer request in. Uh, we're gonna lay hands on those and pray over yes. that. Listen, John, you know, there's somebody, okay. There's somebody right now watching me and you've mm -hmm. got, you said, I, I can't, I've got an issue with a, a rotator cuff mm -hmm. in my wow. shoulder and I need to get that healed right now. I just healed in the name of Jesus. You got that? In fact, there's somebody here on the yeah. prayer phones that's got some of the same, John Sick with the prayer ministry over there. Somebody's got an issue with a rotator yeah. cuff or a shoulder. It's healed in yeah. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Receive your healing and the word of your testimony. Give us a call, say something on Facebook. Let us know what testimony you've got in here healing. Uh, what have you got, Kurt? Uh, 258 people joining us on, on Facebook right now. And people are just praising God, Pastor Gene, that we're uh, available to be on this live yeah. and to bring their supply as we call out different things here today uh, and just come in agreement with us. We're two or more gathered. There's 263 right yeah, here. There's God. us here and all of our prayer ministers uh, just joining in. And I'm just going through here. They're coming in so fast you can't hardly see, see them. But we have prayer people that are joining with these people here when they put their prayer request in. If they can't get through the phone, right. they can go on Facebook, put them in. Yeah, and absolutely. if you have a financial need, uh, we want you to put that in there. We're going to take these after we go off the air on Facebook. We'll put them on paper and we're going to bring them back with us on Friday. And so we're going to connect. So even if you put them here in the chat, it's not physically on a piece of paper like this. We're going to do it for you uh, because it's that important to us. And I know it's going to be important to you. Janice uh, called in from Texas, uh, just asking for prayer for restoration in her marriage Amen. and for her children to that. turn back to the Lord. Bobby from North Carolina, uh, just b believe in God for the best job uh, yeah. in the right avenue, direction. And so Bobby, we come in agreement with you right now. Jill, uh, believe in God. Uh, here's, here's one right here for her house uh, and to uh, sow the seed for finances. Yeah, amen. And so Sowing she's believing God for to finance. sell that house and yeah. then she'll be able to sow seed uh, with that. Also, Jan, uh, believe in God uh, for healing for her husband and the, her legs are, uh, her legs, uh, the bones in her legs are broken and yes. she's just believing God for healing this Amen. morning. So Jan, we come in agreement right now with you <clears throat> and we speak healing over your legs. Every muscle, every bone, every nerve, every vessel in <clears throat> Jesus name is healed right now in your legs. Pastor John, what do you have over there? You know, Pastor Gene, you called out someone, uh, one of our prayer ministers with a shoulder issue, a rotator cuff issue. And now this is, this is live TV and she's still taking calls. Like this is, this is wonderful because she's still working, but she raised her hand for that shoulder issue. So I'm going to pray the prayer of faith right yeah. here while she's on the phone yeah. and she's going to receive her healing. Glory to God. Father, in Jesus name, we thank you that you're healing her shoulder in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the presence of God that's here, that's manifesting right here in this, in this room with our prayer ministers and uh, with those, those who are watching us, those who are joining us all over the world. And Father, we come together right now. We connect our faith for this healing in Jesus' name. We call this shoulder complete. We call it healed and we call it whole in, the G in Jesus. Both shoulders, Father, both shoulders right now in the name of Jesus, they are healed and whole. No more pain, no more pain. She can lift her hands with no more pain yes. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God. God. Back yeah. to you guys. Hey, hey Pastor listen. John, does that get you a little bit excited? <laughs> let me tell you something. It's all I can do not to run. Come on. It's, John. It's, Come it's, on. Let me look. It's it's like 930 or nine o'clock. I don't know. It's early in the morning. You're going to have me running there in the morning. Well, Come you on. know, you, you, <laughs> you talked about, you know, bringing, um, our, you know, connecting with our, the people and yeah. that are watching. And, you know, we, we do. Our faith is stirred up Absolutely. this morning. And yes, so you're maybe wa you're watching your 
here say, man, I, I don't have faith like, the, like, like these guys do. No, that's okay because we're going to bring our supply right. and connect with you and Amen. believe God for your healing this morning. And yeah, so again, right. uh, the phone lines are jammed, but you can still call, call in, keep calling in, or go on Facebook, 877-281-6297. And also on Facebook here, people are just scrolling in. We're up to over 313 people right now. Yeah. And uh, Pastor Gene, I mean, I can't even keep up. The thing yeah, is just good. moving. Listen, I, you know, I, I, when, when Pastor John was talking about that, uh, the, the, the prayer minister over there with the shoulder issues, listen, I wanna tell you, now is a great, this yeah. is the beauty of social media. Get on there, share that, whatever you're wa however you're watching us, whether it's on Victory, Facebook, or uh, KCM, and share that to your friend. Yeah. Send it in the messenger, tell them this prayer is for them. Just because they may not be watching or whatever, that you can, you can attach your faith to that and get in there. You know, the first employee hired here was a prayer minister. Yeah. That's yeah. all her job was. That was the number, of, that's how serious prayer was for Brother or Copeland, still is, this is yep. what we're doing, this is why we are here to agree with you in faith for your healing. John, listen, hey, when she gets off the phone, <laughs> let, get, let's uh, get the testimony. I want to hear okay. that she's healed and whole, but listen, that's not it. Listen, I got somebody with your right foot, mm -hmm. uh, I'll mm -hmm. do this, you see that right? You can't do this, so I want you to just start <laughs> I know this looks silly. Welcome to Facebook. Anyway, I know, right? so you can do this. You start doing that and you'll see those joints. It's going to pop and Amen. crack and the, the tendons are coming back into alignment. And you're going to say, my foot's healed. Look at there. My foot's healed. It's healed in Jesus' name. Now you say, well, it's not my right foot. It's my left foot. Well, then take it for your left foot. That's right. You don't have to sit That's here and wait. That's absolutely right. You don't have to sit here and wait. All right, guys, how much time we got, Judy Ann, before we go off here? We got a we few got minutes. We got 10 minutes. And I want to mention to you as well uh, on Facebook, um, you know, we have Spanish translators, Spanish-speaking people on Facebook. So I just saw Guatemala, Mexico, Chile uh, type in here. And so we have uh, prayer ministers that are on here that uh, speak fluent Spanish. Spanish that will connect with you. And I saw the translation going through here, Pastor Team people typing them in Spanish. Yeah. And so and also we want to remind you to get Brother Copeland's uh, CD series, Delivered from Fear. It's a free downloadable. And this again is to bless you, to stir you up, to build your faith. And so it's called Delivered from Fear. Simply go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer and get that today. There's no That's charge right. whatsoever. Not gonna ask you for anything. This is simply to bless you and to sow into your life and to build your faith. Pastor Gene. Yeah, amen. And you know, listen, hey guys, and since we're, we're on Facebook, we're just gonna stay here until it's time to go. Okay, Spencer, until it's time. John, you hear me over there? We're gonna stay here until it's time to go and we shut this down. But right now, I want Pastor John, I mean, there are so many people here. We're gonna pray for your healings as well. Pastor John, what have you, can you give us just a little snippet on what the word says about their finances? Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, before I go to finances, you know, Pastor Gene, I told you some weeks ago, I've been feeling in my spirit and just sensing in my spirit to pray for a dad who's believing for his daughter to be healed from sickle cell anemia. I want you to know that I, wherever you are, whoever you are, I want you to know I've been holding you in my heart for several weeks and I receive from the Lord that your daughter is healed in Jesus name. Those cells are receiving their full shape and everything, everything that the enemy has stolen is being restored to you in the name of Jesus. You know, speaking of everything being restored, God is a God of restoration and he's a God of restoration in your body. He's a God of restoration in your health and in, in, your, in your mind, in the spirit of your mind. He's also a God of restoration in your finances and it can happen quick. It can be a suddenly. I was just talking to our prayer minister back there that we prayed for just a minute ago and she was talking about receiving warmth in her uh, joints, in her shoulders while we were praying. That's the power of God manifesting right now on the spot. And God can do the same thing in the area of your finances. I want to share something with you. Second Corinthians chapter nine, starting verse six says this, but this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let every man give according to the purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity for God loves a cheerful giver. Watch this. God is able to make all grace abound toward you so that you always having enough of everything may abound in every good work. 
Always having enough of everything. What does that mean? Always having enough finances, always having enough provision, always having enough material, always being strong enough, always having enough strength, always having enough energy, always having enough, always having enough. Just whatever it is, always having enough. When you operate in kingdom economy, you always have enough. Even when it looks like in the natural, you don't have enough. When you react to what you have in the natural, that's called a poverty mentality. Reacting as though what you have is finite and it's going to run out, but God has an endless supply for you. So I just wanna encourage you this morning, if you're believing for finances, God has an endless supply. If you're believing for health, God has an endless supply. If you're believing for energy in your body, God has an inner endless supply. I hear that, Father, I hear that. There's a woman right now, you're about, you're in your 80s and you're watching this. There's a woman right now who's receiving strength to continue doing what she's doing in her body. You need, a, you need a supply of that strength. Father, I thank you for the mom that's watching us that's saying, I just can't do it anymore. I'm, I'm at my wits end, this homeschooling thing with this COVID-19, I got a full-time job, I'm working and, and I just can't do it. You have an endless supply of grace to be a good parent. You have an endless supply of grace to be a good wife. You have an endless supply. There's an endless supply coming to you in Jesus' name. Husbands, you have an endless supply coming to you in Jesus name. You have an endless supply. We want to hear from you when you tap into that endless supply. Call us 877-281-6297 or just comment right there on social media. I'm telling you, God's people this morning are pressing into a place of endless supply and God is able. He's not just able, he's willing to do it for you. Pastor Gene, you better get this thing. Yeah, Otherwise, I'm going to preach some more. Come on now. I'm John. telling you. I'm expecting you to run before this, before we go off of Facebook. You want to see Pastor John run a little bit. Let's start. Let us hear your Glory testimony. To God. Yes. Let's hear yes. your testimony, what God's doing in your life. Listen, I, while Pastor John, I, we're going to, we we're getting the, the, I know you've got a stack going over there as well. We're going to lay our hands on this as a point of contact and pray for your finances. You know, grab Amen. a hold of that word. Pastor John Amen. just said, yeah. like, I may not understand it all. That doesn't matter. By faith, say, I'm going to take that word and apply it in my life. That's what it means by taking it by faith. You're saying, I don't know everything, but I'm going to receive it anyway. And listen, you don't have to be a Bible scholar Kurt, right. to be able to take something by faith. All you've got to do is be willing and take it in Jesus name. But meanwhile, while we're waiting on finances to pray, Kurt, there's people getting healed right now. I can sense it in my yeah. spirit. I know while, while John was preaching about finances and teaching you just a very little bit there, and I saw somebody with an appendix and your name is Lucy. So Lucy, you've got an appendix problem. Yeah, I think you're, uh, no, you're having pain right now. Lucy, you're healed in Jesus name, yeah. you're healed. You're so important to God. He's healing you right now in Jesus name. Healing, cancer, Patty, Trinity, ca cancer, health, sinuses. I understand that. I, ha I have struggled with pollen, but I believe I'm healed too, right along with you. Uh, Lauren and Carl Junction, crippling arthritis. It's that If it's got a name, it has to bow to the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you for these healings that are coming in right now that these folks are healed, whole, and prosperous in Jesus name. Okay, Kurt. What Pastor you got? Gene, people are putting in the chat here, endless supply. Endless and, supply. You know, and that, that, is, that is what we talked about earlier about our words matter. He is our endless supply. And so whatever you need, whether it be healing, whether it be debt freedom, whether it be, uh, whatever it may be, uh, people are putting in here endless supply this morning. Endless because supply. those are things that taking that step of faith, even calling in this morning, 877-281. 6297. Uh, call our licensed prayer minister so they can come in agreement with you this morning and believe God for Praise your healing. God. Irene here is uh, believing God for yes. uh, for her uh, con has congestive heart failure. Failure. Believe in God for healing. Virginia from Pittsburgh, uh, healing of knees and nervous system. Cynthia uh, from her needs healing in her throat this morning. In Jesus' name. Uh, a lady called in from Michigan. Uh, she inherited a house and needs many repairs and it's costing a lot of money. Right, and she's believing God right there. for finances for that. So Amen. that's praise God. Also, God healed her of coronavirus. Praise right God. here on, on this that's testimony. Right. April, uh, believing, asking for peace and healing. You know, yeah, absolutely. He is the peace in the midst of the storm. That's right. And right now in Jesus name, April, there's yeah. peace right, in your so, home in Jesus right, so Kurt, name. Listen. 
I think something's going on over the, over there with Pastor John. John, I thought I heard a praise God going on. What's that, happening? Yeah, over that there? is that you know the beauty the beauty of being live on, on whatever program he is is it's live, right? So I'm over here doing my dance. I'm right I'm right behind you guys just over here doing my dance. Like, but I'm, the reason I'm doing my dance is she's healed in Jesus' name. She oh said, man! She just Let's told me it. she did. You just tell me you were, haven't been able to do that. Haven't been able to do that for months in well, Jesus' name. God, glory Lord. to God. Look at that, look at that. You know what? I'm God, just, there it is, there it is. Come on now. Glory. <laughs> Coming on through. That's Come good on. stuff, man. Yeah, that's good Woo. stuff. God even heals the prayer ministers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we're not, we're, we're having a good time. It's Facebook. We're not on the network. So we're just having a good time here because uh, you know what? You need to tell people you need to watch after the, the prayer program. Uh, continue watching us on Facebook. All right, Pastor John. I mean, I forget Pastor John. I got you on my mind now. Yeah. Hey, Pastor Jean, Kurt, just what you got? Uh, Pastor John took off running. Our numbers spiked 35 people because people needed to have, that's they're right. putting in here praise break. Praise break. That's right. I'll <laughs> Hallelujah. We, we do definitely. Look, okay. So I want to keep going here. All right. You need to excel. I love this. Karis in Beaumont, California. You need to excel in your exams. We just commit that right now to Jesus' name, everything you've studied. I used to pray in school, everything I haven't studied, Lord help me, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, that you will excel on those exams, that you are, your mind is sharp, your memory is good in Jesus' name. Health, ears, spine. Daryl, Greensboro, North Carolina. Look, that, that ear thing, that ear thing that you've been asking God for, for I think this is a long time, You've been asking God for health, uh, healing in your ears. That's done right now in Jesus' name. Just take it by faith. You say, well, I don't have a lot of faith. Take it anyway. Take what God will use, the faith you've got. You know, a mustard seed's really tiny. That's right. So if, you're, if your faith is not even the size of a mustard seed, the whole point is he will still That's take right. what right. you got. Healing in your bladder and kidneys. Patricia and Conway healed in Jesus' name. I'm just receive it for you. Annie, Midlothian, Virginia, re restoration of your teeth. Well, you know, I, I believe you're going to see some things coming to pass. And I think there's probably, Annie, I'm seeing that there's some pain com with that, that that pain in your teeth and the restoration that you need is coming, whether by surgery or by miracle, it's coming in Jesus name. John, I know you got something going on. My goodness. You know, I was just, just kind of flipping through some of the, uh, some of the prayer requests that have come in. And I, I want you to know that we take these very seriously. When people call in, we take them very seriously, but we know that God is answering them. So we see them through the lens of victory. I was just kind of looking through here and we've got Lewis who called in from St. Louis, who's believing for a family of seven to be healed of COVID-19. I'm believing that the power of God God is going to hit that house, completely sweep out everything that is of the devil and restore every member of that family. They all breathe the breath of Almighty God in their lungs and they are healed and whole in Jesus name. You know, earlier um, when we were talking about finances, the, the Bible says that you that let each one give as he's purposed in his heart and that God, that, that's how you tap into that endless supply. And I just heard in my spirit, there's some people out there who are going, well, I don't have anything to give, so I don't qualify. You always have something to give. The Bible says he gives seed to the sower. All you gotta do is become a sower. Walk your neighborhood, pray for your neighborhood. That's you giving. You know, be willing to help out a neighbor, be willing to open your home up. That's you giving and God will give you the seed that you need to sow. Last thing I got, Pastor Gene, earlier you were talking about people with sinus issues, pollen issues. I believe that there's a healing, a massive healing for people who are having issues, allergy issues, pollen issues right now in Jesus' name name. And I, I take that for myself. So you take it right yeah, now. Just I I receive that. breathe in, just breathe yes. in. Take right now, just wherever you are, just yes, amen. take a big inhale of the breath of God. You breathe the breath of God, yes. his breath yes. in your lungs in Jesus name. Jesus name. Glory yes. to God. Amen. All right, John, I'm going to have you wrap up, pull whatever uh, finances stuff you've got mm -hmm. and bring it on over here. Okay. Uh, and we'll try and be a social distance as we can. <laughs> and we're going to believe God yeah. for that. Um, uh, Kurt, 
you got some prayer requests on Facebook. What's happening? Uh, right here, uh, Maddie just typed in here, please help me pray that my husband and my sister fix some differences they've had for over 10 years. Yeah, healing uh, of relationships. Yeah, yeah that's rela good. Relationships. Uh, Sonia uh, just typed in, please pray for my son David, who is also feeling sad due to his father treating him the wrong way in the past. Uh, Catherine, believing for restoration uh, of the son, her son's family. Uh, also, we have in here Wayne. Uh, Wayne is coming in agreement with people. People are agreeing with each other right here on Facebook this morning. Catherine, believe for restoration. Uh, also, we have in here, let me keep going through, they're coming in so fast. Uh, uh, Lynn, I receive the healing and restoration of my teeth. Yeah, in amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I and praise that. God. I receive that also, we have yeah. in here, uh, and they keep going through, I'm trying to read them here. Uh, Stephanie, pray for me. I need to understand the word of God as I study it in Jesus' yes. name. Yeah, wow. revelation. That's called revelation. We're gonna get revelation. We agree with you right now. You know, I, I, that's, a good, that's a good thing right there, Kurt. I believe there are those of you that are watching and you're like, you know, uh, it, because I, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about me. I used to watch Brother Copeland and go, man, can I ever be at that level of understanding? Yeah. And, and it took a while for God to get through my head. Listen, I can, as much as I push into him, he's going to give back to yeah. me. It's a different type right. of seed time and harvest. So I'll, all you need to do is stop comparing yourself to your pastor or Brother Copeland or anybody. You just reach in there and say, listen, I am God, I'm giving you everything I got. I wanna invest in you and I wanna see I want to understand you. I want a relationship. Because let me tell you, those of you relationship issues out there right now, this is the, the shortcut to get those things taken care of. And I believe those relationships are healed in Jesus' name. Okay, John, come on over here and let's pray for these financial progress. Listen, Praise I want to tell God. you, keep calling the number. I think our phones, I see every line busy here right now. Mm -hmm. Listen, I want you to keep calling the number 877-281-6297 or you can join us right there on Facebook where you're already at and uh, join us with prayer. Kurt, you got something there? Just right when you said that, people started putting in relationships with their mom, yeah. relationship with their yeah. dad, a relationship with their children. I mean, they're, they're coming in. And just when you said that, yeah. it, it, it hit it hit people at home yeah. and said, Amen. you know what, I, I'm gonna put that in there. I need restoration of my wife. I need restoration of my husband. I yeah. need restoration of my children. And so right when you said that, people just started putting in here yeah. uh, that they're, they're husband to be healed a, a paralysis i uh, love the anointing she they just they need it in their home yeah and, and you know so. i know i have uh, a police local police officer uh we were talking to him uh and he said that domestic violence is up significantly yeah, uh, yeah. people stuck at home with people they don't get along with and it's bad it's it's a serious issue and yeah, it is. there's there is you know i am praying right now for a deeper revelation of god's love yeah. Thank who God you. loves and he loves Thank you and he loves whoever you're having that issue with, whether it be a family member or a neighbor, uh, that he loves them. So Father, in Jesus' yes. name, I ask you for love to permeate every aspect of that relationship right now in Jesus' name and start acting in love. Start speaking words yeah. of faith over that over that relationship that they are they are doing well. This has been resolved. And then you have to make an act of forgiveness, that's John. Right. You have to make that's a decision. Right. Well, you say, well, I don't feel it. Well, that's right, you don't. And sometimes forgiveness <laughs> doesn't come by feeling. Yeah. It becomes by a decision that I'm gonna forgive them. And I don't care if you have to say it every three minutes, I forgive them, I forgive them, until it takes root in your heart. And, you, and the feeling will come, but listen, it may take years, but it, for forgiveness is a choice. That's John. right, that's absolutely. You know, the Bible says that you <clears throat> reap what you sow. That's right. The Bible does say that. that you yeah. know, I know that's one of those things that we kind of say, but yeah. the Bible does does talk about you, whatever you sow, that, that you you're going to reap. So when you sow love, even if you don't feel it, that's a seed of love. Yeah. Right. And you're going to reap, you'll reap that's not good. just the feeling, but you'll reap love coming back at you when you sow in that area. I, you know, I pull those finances, yeah. uh, some of the ones that we've gotten this morning. These are some of the ones that have, that have been prayed over, but I'm telling you, they, they're, they're speaking to me this morning, that endless supply. It's really speaking to me this morning. Uh, this, uh, like Linda, who says she needs new home finances to move. Uh, Chinazo, who called in, says he wanted student loans obliterated. 
There's an endless <laughs> supply for the obliteration of every debt. Yeah. We've, you know, Catherine says she wants a debt-free home and healing for her friend. I believe your friend is healed, but I believe that debt-free home, I'm taking that with you. That yeah. debt-free home yeah. is yeah. coming to you Jesus. right now in yeah. Jesus' yeah. name. You just receive it. You re And I hear that. Yeah, Lord, I hear that. I'll tell her that. Start sowing your yeah. home. Start, yeah. start a Bible study. Yeah. Start sowing your home, start a Bible study, cook dinner for somebody, show the love of Jesus and that debt freedom will manifest yeah, in Jesus amen, name. Amen. 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 I, I agree God. with that. All right. So listen, I want to tell you again, uh, those of you watching on Facebook, uh, get your, of course I say that everybody's watching on Facebook. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, listen, get your prayer requests in for finances because we're going to pray over these now, yeah. but we're also going to pray over them Friday. Uh, Spencer, I don't know who's on Friday, but we're going to pray over them for a special time of prayer for finances. And tell your friends, maybe you know a son or a daughter or somebody that needs a job. That's finances. Yeah. Uh, maybe they need uh, like a, a bill paid off, like mm -hmm. their student loan. That's finances. Mm -hmm. Anything financial related, we want to tell you, say, well, why are you separating out finances? Because we're going to come into agreement yeah, together that's right. yeah. that's over right. That's right. a specific thing. Yeah. And that's why we're still taking prayer requests and the prayer ministers are going to pray over every healing uh, right now. And so listen, keep doing that, but we're going to pray right now. All right, John, lay yours out there and let's yes. pray, take a corner. Oh, hallelujah. All right, John, start praying. Father in Jesus. Lord, I thank you for finances coming to your people. God, you said that you, you told us to pray thy kingdom come mm -hmm. and thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, I believe when you told us to pray that you had every intention of financing it. Yes. Father, yeah. you had every intention of financing the kingdom, every intention of increasing your people, mm -hmm. making them strong financially so that they would always mm -hmm. have all sufficiency for every good work and every charitable donation. And Lord, we pray over this endless yes. supply yes. coming to your people. Father, an endless supply everywhere they look, God, every bill, there's yes. an endless supply for that yes. bill, for yes. those student loans, for, for those tax. Yeah, I hear that, Lord. A tax bill is being paid off yes. right yes. now yes. in that yes. endless yes. supply. I hear that, Lord. Yeah, I hear that. Yes. I hear that. I thank you, Father. Homes are being built for the purpose of the kingdom. That's the reason yes. you're getting a debt-free home is to operate in the kingdom. Lord, I thank you for that. School bills. Mom, you've been thinking. Yes. You've mm -hmm. been praying for your student for that bill that the college is sending you so that your child can stay in school. You even thought you're going to have to take them out of school. I say that they're not just staying in school, but they're going to finish and finish debt free in Jesus name. You have an endless supply. Lord, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. For Father, it. I, I agree yes. in faith with John and Kurt that yes. every one of these, yes, every Jesus. one of these that, are, that have, last one. whether it's a yes. job or mm -hmm. a direction and joy, student loan forgiveness, mm -hmm. salvation, finances. Father, we agree. Yes, and, uh, in Jesus name over every aspect of these finances that these people are healed yeah. in their wallets, <laughs> yes. yeah. healed yeah. and whole, whole includes finances. Mm -hmm. So father, I thank you that they're healed and whole mm -hmm. in Jesus name. Yeah. Kurt? yeah. Father, yeah. I speak increase wallets, right now wallets. over our partners that own businesses. And Father, during this yes, time of COVID, yes. Lord God, it's been a struggle. But Lord, I speak increase, Lord God. I thank you, Father, because they're connected with this ministry as partners, Lord. They shall not lack, but they shall be yes. blessed. Yes. And Father, everything that their hands do touch shall prosper. And so, Lord, I come in agreement right now with my brothers. And Lord, we yes, thank you for Lord. our partners that are around the world. And Father, for them, as they have stood with us, Lord, we stand with them right now and pray over their businesses. Mm -hmm. And Father, we thank you, Father, for increase in every, every area. And Father, when there seems to be no way, Lord, you make the way. Yes, and so but right That's now, right. as they're sitting wondering how they're going to do this and do that, mm -hmm. but Father, you order our steps. And so Lord, I thank you right now that you are ordering our, our the steps of our partners and Father, that their business shall flourish. They will not close, but Father, they'll flourish in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Smith Wigglesworth. Yes. Took dead people, threw them up against the wall. Yeah. and said, walk. Yeah. I heard in my spirit, some of you been dead in your wallet. <laughs> Take your wallet out, toss it against the wall and say, walk. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. there are wallets so coming good. to life. There's some so wallets good. coming I'm to life. I'm expecting to hear yeah. some great testimonies of 
of restitution mm -hmm. and recompense that are coming back to you in your financial That's world. absolutely right. All right, so Spencer, make sure these get in that stack for Friday. And listen, the great thing about Facebook, as soon as we go off the, the live feed here, it'll populate and then they can go share that, yes. this whole video yes. uh, with some friends that you know that need a financial miracle. Tell them we're gonna pray over their finances. We'll pray any day for your finances, but we're gonna have a special time over all of that in Amen. Jesus name. So Kurt, I think that's it. Well, again, we wanna encourage you. Uh, our lines are open 24 seven to mm -hmm. take your phone calls, 877-281-6297. Also, we wanna remind you, go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer and download Brother Copeland's uh, CD teaching series delivered from fear. Also, you wanna join us this afternoon for Victory Update at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. We have a special guest coming all the way from Greece and, and that's gonna be a great, great program this afternoon. And that'll be on the Victory Channel and on the Victory Channel Facebook page. And so for all of you that are joining us right now on Facebook, on the KCM page, we'll be on the Victory Channel Facebook page this afternoon for Victory Update. And remember from Pastor Gene, Pastor John and myself, we love you, God loves you and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. We'll see you.